In this video, we're going to be talking about the new RAL LMG that has just been added into Warzone. It's been a while since this gun has been shown off initially, but now we finally got it in the game. If you enjoy Epistat breakdowns and weapon comparisons, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we try to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers and click that link in the description down below and subscribe to our second channel. We do post extra content over there as well. But this LMG is now finally in the game and as you can see the challenge is on screen right now and the fastest way to do this challenge is 100% inside plunder. Now what you want to do is you get 5 kills in 7 different matches using LMGs with a scout optic. So what you want to do is you have to choose a modern warfare LMG because that's the only ones that have scout optics. So the best LMGs that are modern warfare ones are mainly the PKM and the Bruin. But once you've done that, you just need to get five kills, leave the game, and then start another game of plunder again. Make sure you land Storage Town every single time because that is where the highest density of players will be and everyone who's trying to unlock this challenge. And here is what you clicked on this video for. So we've got a class set up with the RAL LMG and an AMP pistol, and that allows you to choose Tempered as your secondary perk. But let's get into the class setup for the RAL LMG. So for the muzzle, you do want to go for the muzzle monocore suppressor, which is basically the monolithic suppressor. It gives you sound suppression and damage range. Surprisingly, it doesn't give you much bullet velocity. So that is the only con to this uh, suppressor here, but it doesn't hurt your bullet velocity. So it is definitely the best option. Then for the barrel, you want to go for the 32 inch barrel. And this is the longest barrel to use when it comes to this LMG. It's going to give you damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. It will give you a con to aim down sight speed, but we'll have to correct that with other attachments. Then for the laser, you do want to equip the TAC laser on there, and it's going to give you a faster aim down sight time and aiming stability, which you do need with this gun because it is an LMG and it does ADS really slow. Then, of course, you want to choose the VLK 3x optic, and this is going to help you with getting a higher zoom level so you can kill those enemies at those longer distances as well as giving you some recoil control as well. And then lastly, you want to choose the last under barrel attachment. This actually helps with recoil control and aim down sight speed once again. It does give you a bit of a con to movement speed, but aim down sight speed I do think is a little bit more important because you should be holding angles with a gun like this. You can obviously go for the PMC grip instead, which gives you recoil control, but it gives you a con to ADS. But like I said, I think ADS is more important in this case, and that is the best class setup for the RAL. Then moving on into the AMP, you do want to choose the Agency Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel for the faster strafing speed. It allows you to get damage range and bullet velocity as well, but it does hurt your recoil a little bit. And that is why we go for the Agency Suppressor over the regular Sound Suppressor, because this is the only attachment that helps with recoil. Then you do want to go for the Tiger Team Spotlight for the faster movement speeds. And then you do, of course, want to go for that Stanag 30 round mags, which is a great addition into Warzone now because this gun only had 25 rounds to begin with, but now 30 rounds is more than enough to make this a good sniper replacement. And then you do want to go for the Serpent Wrap as your rear grip because the, the iron sights on the AMP are actually pretty clean and you can use them easily. But if you do struggle, you can remove the Serpent Wrap and put on an optic if you like. Like I said at the beginning, for the perks you want to use EOD, Tempered and Combat Scout, Semtex and Stun Grenades. Now I do want to quickly mention, with this LMG and when the CX-9 released, we actually got a nerf to the weapons before they actually came out again into the game. So it's likely that the RAL LMG actually got a nerf to some of its TTK values before it was added back into the game. We will do testing and we will compare this to some of the more popular SMGs in the game in a later on video today. So if you want to watch that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we try to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers and click that link in the description down below and subscribe to our second channel. I thank you very much for watching.